it's just a quick tutorial to show you how to install a back battery icon which is in the top right of your uh, iPhone screen just there. Uh, this is using OpenSSH and WinSCP again. So go to start and open up WinSCP and your host name is your IP address on your phone. Uh, to find this you need to go to your settings on your iPhone and then Wi-Fi settings and then the network that you're connected to with a tick click on the white and blue arrow to uh, get the details and then your IP address is that one that says at the top IP address so just type that into the, the host name <coughs> and then your username's root and the password is either the default password or if you've changed it with mobile terminal it's, that cha it's the changed password and then this will log us into the directory files on the um, iPhone. Just click the the uh, up directory arrow uh, folder just to come right back out to the start directory of the, the iPhone and then minimize that. Okay, now we need to choose a battery icon to, to use on the iPhone. I'll go for the blue. So right, um, open that up by double clicking extract to and then select your desktop and click OK and then that will extract that folder to your desktop and you can close that and close this and if you double click on that you'll see all the image files in there including some instructions on where to uh, install it Okay, we'll close that. And we need to go back to WinSCP. And we need to go to System and then Library. Double click on these as you're going through them. And then Core Services and Springboard.app. And then we need to open up this file with the new ones we want to use. And you can see that you see the name default battery charger default under, underscore if you have a look in the list it could, you can find them in the list and if you want to make a backup just select the right ones and drag and drop onto a, a new folder on your desktop um, and then that will create a backup then just in case uh, but I'm not going to right so Right, so battery icons. And then select the first one. And that one there. Yeah, you want the charged and the charging dot PNG files. And then you need these two as well, the FSO battery insides and the other, which are now on the list of it. Yeah, so click and hold and drag that one across that uh, click copy that creates a backup of that file so we've got a backup of all of them now ok what we need to do now is select all four there don't select the instructions just the four image files drag them over and then click copy and you'll if you've if you've not disabled the uh, overwrite um, message box then just click overwrite and then we need to restart the springboard so if you go to the winterboard app 
and then just click on anything or turn your, your currently selected one off and then back on and this will restart the springboard when you click the home button and refresh it okay I've got it charged, it's plugged in charging at the minute but if I take, oh, I take out the charging dock there you can see it's changed now, they've got the blue battery icon in the top there and that's it